An arthropod is, um, is an animal with jointed legs, um, and it also has an exoskeleton, and a lot of those exoskeletons are ones that, you know, they, they shed. So these are from some of my scorpions, um, and it's just a, a whole exoskeleton. And, I, and then also arthropods have body divisions. So like on insects, it'll be head, thorax, abdomen. On some of the other ones, like... Um, so there's, you know, horseshoe crabs, okay, you know, they're divided, um, and horseshoe crabs, and then there's trilobites, um, can't really find these anymore alive, but, um, okay, so, you know, the arthropods are, are broken into different groups, and, um, so there's, um, you have insects, you have, um, I don't know, they still use chylopod, right? Okay, um, diplopod, crustaceans, um, and then you've got, you know, arachnids, trilobites, and then meristomata, which is, um, so I was showing you the first two first. Um, so this is the meristomata, which is the horseshoe crabs. Um, and then the trilobite is the extinct one right there. Um, <clears throat> so the next one um, would be, the um, arachnids. Um, so I'm going to show you some arachnid friends. Oh. This is um, Rosie. She's my rose-haired tarantula. And she's a, a great example of an arachnid because you can easily see the two body parts um, and then the eight legs. But then they also have um, pedipalps. So on a scorpion, it would be the pinchers. And on her, it would be these right here. Um, I kind of call them the, the hands for stuff in her face, you know, but she'll, she'll do that. And males um, at the end will be a little bit fatter. It'll be like a big hand. We won't go into exactly what that does because we're all PG-13 here. So um, arachnids, uh, you know, they can all look different, you know, you know, long or short or whatever, but... Um, spiders are in two groups, like uh, this one would be a, a megalomorph, and that means their fangs are positioned out front and then they're not opposing. Um, but, and then they've got, you know, hooks so that, you know, you can hold them over somebody. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, so she's a rose-haired tarantula. So these are actually supposed to be some of the nicer tarantulas. No, this would be from Chile, um, South America. She is at least eight, um, but they can live to be 25. If, if they're males, they only live to eight because they only get to their last shed, and then that's it. And then yeah, weekly, like two crickets. And, I mean, if there's still crickets, you know, slinging around in there, I don't, I don't give her anything. So that's one type of um, arachnid. The one that we don't like that much um, are ticks. And I thought I had some ticks in here, but I'm sure you guys, um, if you go to East Texas and walk around the woods where I used to live, you don't have to find them. They will find you. Um, but then I, I do have, um, so I, I have these little guys that we have here. Um, and the, these are the, um, there we go. There, okay. And they, they will fluoresce. So, you know, since we live in the hill country, if you do have company come over, if you want to do them a favor before they go in the bed you haven't used in a while, take a black light, maybe check it. Make sure, you know, you're not putting your uh, friend and family or something. Maybe you, maybe you do want that to be there. I don't know. But, um, but so their body is more elongate. They do still have the two body parts. It's just a little harder to see um, the division, but always the the legs are, are hooked to the the cephalothorax. You know, just like on a um, on an insect, the legs are always on the thorax. So, um, but this is you know, there's two kinds of scorpions that are here. Um, this is one of them, and now I'm losing. Is it a cave scorpion? The black one, right? I think, and then. This one has a bunch of different names, but what's the real name? Yeah, it's Centroides, which is, yeah. So this is the same genus as the possible deadly one in Arizona. 
Um, these are not deadly, but they can hurt. How many of you have been stung? Yeah, all right. Yeah, so occasionally I get stung when I pick them up like this, you know, so I'm increasing my probability by what I do. Um, but I've, ha I've sat on them. I can tell you that is interesting feeling. That's like getting those Novocaine or those, uh, those shots, you know, Demerol shots. Yeah, woo, yeah, not good. Um, but so the, the tip of their tail, I mean, they, they can put all their venom from that little thing in you, or they can actually just inject a little. Um, it just depends. I, I've had some that I know must have emptied into me because it's, it, took, it took a good day to have the electrical tingle go away. Um, and if you do ever do pick them up like this, if, as long as you have them by the tail, you know, from either side, then they can't get you. But when you put them back in, you want to make sure they don't grab your finger because then they'll grab your finger and then the tail will start whacking you. So, you know, little, little tips for crazy people. <coughs> um, okay, and the other arachnid that I, that I left out um, would be mites. You know, one of them would be a chigger. So we all love them too. Um, so, <coughs> um, so arachnids are the ones with two body parts um, and eight legs. And then, if, uh, then when you go to crustaceans, you know, you've got like crabs um, like this. Um, and then there's, on some of these, it's easy to tell a male from a female because the female will have the, the like the tail part that will go underneath and that's where she'll hold uh, some of the eggs. This one's a male. Um, I would pass this one, but this one had been leaking out the top and you're eating hand food and yeah, it, kind of gross, but you can come up here later and pick these all up, you know, however you want. Um, okay, one that I'm not going to pick up for you, because um, I know that would not be smart, <coughs> is this one. Um, and this one is, would be a giant desert centipede. How many of you have the nice centipedes? I know, aren't they so cute? My wife hates them. Um, I think that they're really cool. I don't want them in my bed or anything like that, but um, I did have two in here, but <clears throat> either, either one got out, which we don't want to tell my wife. No, you can't escape. Um, we don't want to tell my wife, or one decided to eat the other. I, I just had caught them both, so I just threw them in the same cage. So it was kind of an experiment for me. But um, if you want to look at this one later, I uh, just grabbed a cricket, so that's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, so it just wrangled a cricket. Um, the cricket ran underneath, and it just, they grab and kind of roll. And then they do have little appendages in the front that are actually modified with venom. So, um, and from what I've heard, that these could put you in the hospital. So... I've already been there recently, and I don't want to so, go back. Millipedes and centipedes, okay? The, the misnomer is, oh, those have a 1,000 legs, and those have a 100. Well, no, they never have that. Um, you know, I don't even think there's a centipede that even has a 100 legs. So The difference would be in their, their body segments. So this one will have one pair of legs per body segment, and a millipede, like... I used to have these giant African millipedes, and I actually got them to breed. Um, I don't know, they look like big cigars with legs. I just have to see which one goes to which. Here we go, yeah. So they're kind of brittle, but yeah, these, and people, I don't know, I didn't know what I was doing. I just thought I gave them cool habitat. Well, I must have, because they bred, and I got a lot of these, and now you can't really even get these, because oh. <clears throat> this one has two pairs of legs per body segment. Um, usually, these are more flat uh, looking, and these are more like this, so I usually say centipedes are like your hand, and millipedes like your finger. Not always true. There are some millipedes that are a little more compressed. Um, but, uh, and these, uh, there are some in the tropics that can um, shoot out like a, a poison. They usually, well, you know from your house, if you step on them, it smells like an old dirty Band-Aid or something, right? Um, but <clears throat> the, um, 
So their, their poison is inside their body to make them taste bad or they sometimes can eject it. And theirs is like a venom that they'll actually inflict. So that's another difference too. And I'm sure there's many other differences, but like if you're just looking at them, you're looking for like, um, you know, and there's smaller centipedes too that aren't these, you know. These are just cool because they got yellow legs and a red head and a bluish black back. It's and now, yeah, they would be they would be carnivores and they're and they would be predators. Um, but there are things that prey on them too. Like there's um I, I know for sure like some of the owls, like elf owls and things like that, you know, they'll they'll eat centipedes. Now I don't know how they do it, I would say carefully. But, but you know, they have to be careful too. But they'll they'll eat them. And millipedes, though, I don't know too many things that would want to eat them because they do have that poison in them, and it makes them taste terrible. So it's kind of like a monarch, you know. But I don't know if it's from what they eat. It's just they were born that way to taste bad. On some of the other ones, okay, crustaceans, um, and then there's one called a water bear. Um, I don't really, all I have is a little picture, um, but they're, they're kind of fun looking. I don't know, you probably can't even see that from there, and I didn't hook up the little thing, but they're kind of cute um, water bears, um, but I'll leave that picture up here, and, and it's in a, oh, they're like microscopic, they're very tiny. So, Some uh, insects will have, um, they'll always have six legs, there's no exception to that unless it's, right, okay. Um, and then they'll have uh, two antenna, three body parts. This one looks like it just has one body part, so sometimes you got to pick them up and turn them around. Look at them, you know? Um, now this one has like a, a distinctive smell that they'll give off. And um, so I did a little experiment, and I gave hissing cockroaches to my bearded dragon, and I gave these, which are the giant cockroaches. And they prefer the hissing ones, you know, the hissing sound as a defense over their little smell. Now, their smell is kind of like Aussie hairspray mixed with dirt. You know, that's kind of <laughs> like the smell we're dealing with there. But, um, but they will, um, they'll go from this size, and like this is the last stage right here. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> the, la the next stage, when this one sheds, it will look like this. So then they get wings, and then of course most insects have uh, two pairs of wings, um, if they have wings, and so those are the wings. And then when they're in the adult stage, that's when they smell a little more interesting. So